Okay, this video probably going to be short. We're going to do branding. Branding is actually a requirement if you are doing autopilot, which we'll be doing in a later video. So let's get the branding set up. And that's also fun when you have to put in uh, your logging credentials, you see a bit of customization. So I've already prepared a few images that we will be using. And this is done, even though this is for Intune, the autopilot, this is done in Azure AD. So let's go directly to Azure AD since we have set up our subscription already. We'll have to log in. And now it's john at printscloud.onmicrosoft.com And we're going to change this domain name in the next video if you own a domain name. If not, it's totally fine to keep that. In password. Let's save it for this time and sure, stays signed in. So in here as your AD, you can have different favorites that you can add from all services, but we already have as your active directory. So let's click here and down here we have company branding. Click on that and let's configure this company branding. And the default image, it has to be a PNG JPEG or JPEG. It has to be less than 300 kilobyte. So this is good for security. So people see that it's your company they arrive to, even though, yeah, anyone could uh, copy your logo and put in. So it's not 100%, but at least your users see that it should be your company. So I have prepared one here, a background that is uh, less than 300 kilobyte. John Brinson Network. Then we have the banner logo, which uh, file size 10 kilobyte, 280 times 60 pixel, also PNG or JPEG. And I have that one here. Actually, this one seems to be too large and it's not a good size either. Let's see if I have one for that. We have to scroll down. Ah, it's my logo, GBN. Um, I have two probably because of the size. Let's see this one. That one is too big too. Then I guess it's the second one. That one it likes. Okay, perfect. Username hint. You can say um, uh, your name, your first name dot last name at and I'm going to add a custom domain, so I'm going to do brint.cloud. And this hint, of course, helps a hacker as well. Sign, sign in. Welcome to GBN. Sign in background color. Here it has to be a hex code. So I'll do something random and we'll see what that uh, turns out. So I'll do uh, FF give it so it's gonna be red oh, I take a green one then zero that should be a green RGB read uh, red green blue a square logo type here's the one that I tried earlier that didn't work one and there is one for the dark team as well but I actually take the same one for both that one works for both and a show option to remain signed in sure we like that option so i think we are pretty good so basically you need to create a few images and it's pretty easy it's written what size it has to be uh, a dimension and also the size and format so we save this one and we are done so let's see if our branding works fine. I'll go back here so we have this as um, a reference point. I'm going to open up uh, in a private window. See if I can put that uh, side by side so we see our setting. Well, in Windows 11 you have this uh, feature to fix this. So let's put this one there and we put you on the right side. And let's go to uh, Azure AD. We can go to any site 
as long as we put in my username. So I saved it here. So it's at my domain, brintscloud.onmicrosoft.com. We go next. Hopefully it saved the password as well. It has. And we sign in. And now it should take us, you saw very quickly there, we saw the green color. That's this one. The background color, uh, the background wallpaper, it's this one. The logo here is the GBN. The welcome to GBN is the text to show up here. And stay signed in should be the last show option to remain the signed in. So we have everything here. Um, we say uh, yes to this one. And we are in and our branding is done. Great. In next video, I'll use uh, a domain name that I'm owning, brints.cloud, and I'm going to change instead of using brints.cloud.onmicrosoft.com and make that the primary. See you in the next video. Thank you very much.